impressions of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth here today. Um, I don't sound great right now. My sore throat and everything has moved up into my head. Now my nose is running. All my sinuses are a bit than I was bad as they were earlier today. I'm filming this Friday night. almost nine hours into this game. I played a little bit Thursday night when I got it. Installed it and everything and I was able to skip the, kind of most of the chapter one prologue, not all of it. <clears throat> because I played the demo. You had to do a little bit of it again and then it, it pushed you through if you wanted to and then you got some bonus stuff if you had played it. Um, well, there's also a port part where you Zack real briefly. That I assume is going to take place later in the game. It's very brief. Um, but yeah, the one thing about being sick is I was able to play this a ton today. I literally probably put like six hours into it today. I'm on chapter four now, I, I got to Judon. Is that what it's called? Shinra kind of city controlled city or whatever. I was just in like the underground tunnels, caverns or whatever. I will say I stupidly left the first area too quickly because now I can't fast travel back there at the moment. I would assume I can later. I did a bunch of stuff there. I'll talk about that in a minute. But I didn't do all the side quests I could have. I just wanted it was like, oh let me just move along a little bit. And I was like, oh wait, I can't now go back. But there's a ton to do in this game. Obviously, it takes place right after the last one. But uh, in the prologue, you uh, you do use Sephiroth briefly, and you're hanging out, and you see him go nuts, and then he starts torches his village, kills a bunch of people, and then it, it comes back. Um, I actually got screwed. I have to watch the rest of the cutscene because I got up to that cutscene. It was Cloud and him, because Cloud goes with him back to his old town. And Cloud's a little more cheery here than he is <laughs> in the game now, but and he uh, he goes to take him out. There's a cutscene, but all of a sudden the game wasn't fully downloaded, and I didn't realize this. And it was like, oh, you have to wait. And then I waited, and then it went. It was middle of the cutscene, and then it went back to after the cutscene after it was finished. So I'm gonna have to check out how much I missed online. The game's awesome though. It looks incredible like when you first you go to another kind of city i forget what it's called oh calm and uh and then shinra comes there looking for you and your group the terrorists because they're pinning everything on you that happened and uh so you leave there and then you're able to come back but then when like you first get out of that <clears throat> really nice looking town too nice buildings everything it just looks great but you get out into like the big part of that fur first of the grasslands open world and it's just like yes this is what i've been waiting for like i was like yes and you can find hidden you find areas that are cash areas so they each have three chests in them you can find um but eventually i was able to go back to the calm and there's this cool game in here i, would assume, I don't know if this was in the original one like i said i did not play it originally back in the day only briefly years later and it was only like two hours in. The, uh, what's it called? Queen's Blood game. It's kind of cool. You get like cards and you got to put them down. And then you, certain ones are worth two and one and three. And now you place them and stuff and you get points. And, and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. I played some of it. Um, like I said, graphically, it's incredible. Like the, the character models on the main players that you use look great. But I'm telling you, some of the regular characters you meet in the game world's faces, they look ridiculously good like i'm just like holy shit <laughs> like bill the one chocobo rancher the first one and his grandkids like i'm like holy shit uh and a lot of the other side kind of characters just npcs or whatever it's just like holy fuck man 
obviously same can combat system as the last one so it's active combat it said you can do classic so i don't know if that's turn-based or what i just did the active one and uh because i know obviously the original was turn-based but i don't know if the classic means turn-based or something else but i did the uh, active combat again so it's the same you're just booking around you can control each of the characters you know hit the button you go boom 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 you do it. yeah special abilities when your little meter goes up you have synchronized things too with other characters that are in your party at the time that you're using in battle. So you do synced things, and then there's like a folio, as it's called. It's like kind of a similar to a sphere grid. And uh, you could upgrade and have different paired attacks with, you know, different people. Cloud and Barrett, Barrett and Tifa, Tifa and Red 13, you know, etc. Aerith, Cloud, whatever. And then you can get experience points, better attacks and stuff like that. Stronger attacks, whatever. Strength, more SP, and whatever. So that's that. And there's, uh, you still have the materials and stuff. And you, you can do your spells that way and shit. And there's the summons also, which come in battle at a certain point. Usually it's when you first stat your opponent and then start wailing on the little thing comes up. So you can bring them into, the, you know, the, the summons at Ifrit, uh, Chocobo, and the Mog, and, uh, I don't know what the other one is. This is the third one. There's three of them still. And Chadley's back as well. I would assume this happened in, in the original too, but now he gives you all this shit to do now. So you climb these kind of towers. I saw one. I was like, oh, what's this? I can't do anything with it. And then he appeared and I was able to do the stuff. Then it opens up like, you know, if you were in Assassin's Creed and you'll do the synchronization, things pop up. There's other things to do where you can do the combat for him. And you gotta do like specific things during combat like one was like i had to beat it in a certain amount of time couldn't let the enemy do a certain attack you can do that you can find these springs that have a bunch of materia uh, not materia because you have a transmutator as well that crafts stuff so you're finding stuff everywhere in the game world materials which is kind of cool you upgrade them by like when you create something it gives you points to upgrade your crafting skill and it's cool that certain ones are worth more when you craft certain things. But you can find springs that have that, and then you scan it with this. He gives you this thing, Chadley, and you scan the thing. And you gotta hit, like, it's a little button-pressing game. And there's another one where you're doing, uh... It's for, like, summons. I'm doing the Titan ones now. I did two of them. Where you have to hit the buttons the way they are, but they disappear. So they show them you briefly, and then you have to hit them when it spins. So that's another thing you can go do. There's other encounters I encountered gang from the read the first part of the remake there's that there's other types of, it's like a bunch of things to do with that. I guess the springs the the specific battles you have to do to, to, to get him his data and the combat simulators there again as well um then there's the towers you want like I said you can like more of these towers and there's uh and you can find other things where you're using the chocobo because you get chocobos in this game to get around quicker in this fast you can fast travel to a lot of places and you'll find chocobo old chocobo like almost like a bus stop where you can rest if you have a cushion and there's a regular rest where you can rest where it's the rest and then there's like the item vending machine and then there's a machine to up up uh grade your folios as well there and they have them in the towns um like i said there's side quests i did a few i had to fight this like white wolf that was killing livestock i did one with one of them was a Kyrie or Kyrie uh, from the first game she's appeared you have to help her do something for the town of calm you have to fix like a mako pipe is burst so it's coming out and i did a couple other ones i can't remember what um there's different chocobos in each area now that i'm in And you can get armor for the chocobos if you get the, uh, oh, I did a, I picked flowers for the Bill's granddaughter. And you can trade chocobo feathers or plumes or whatever the hell. And you can get gear for your chocobo. Uh, you can call a chocobo whenever, when hitting the right button. As long as you have it, you have to, like, now I'm in a new area. I have to now do the chocobo thing again to get those chocobos or whatever. So I can't use a chocobo yet. And they, they'll sniff and they can dig up stuff. Sometimes they'll find treasures and shit. And one of the Chadley things is I had, I went to like these ruins and I had to find the things. So I had to sniff with the chocobo and then dig up the stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do. And like I said, I should have hung back a little bit longer, but I 
assume at some point I'll be able to fast travel back to different regions. So I'm not, I did a good amount, so I'm not like worried about my level, but I think the game starts you at 15. I think I'm in the 20s now, I forget what number I'm at. But I could have screwed around more. A couple boss fights, a big snake type thing that I had to do in the swamps. And then I fought a, a golem in like the cavern thing. Because it splits you up like in the other one as well. That's why I was Barrett and Red for a bit. And then I was Tifa, Aerith, and, and Cloud for a bit. And I know more party, party members are going to go into the mix. Um, and you can switch your party members, tell them how you, you want them to do combat. You can auto upgrade your stuff if you want. I don't do that though. You're obviously finding chests with different weapons. Purple chests are like weapons and the there's a ton going on. It's it's so fucking cool. Like I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, I really want to see him remake Final Fantasy VI. Um, it was 140. It says 160 gigs, but it ended up being like a 147.5. I think it. I think Jedi Survivor was 140. It's supposed to be the largest game, but I have space so far. I'll eventually get an external hard drive just to add more storage, but for now, I'm just, when I'm done with the game, I'm just deleting it, like Dead Space, I know I didn't delete, no, did I delete Dead Space, I deleted Jedi Survivor, just because it was so huge, I, they, I downloaded the Silent Hill short message thing, I'm like, I'm done with that, I'm going to screw it back, that was like 12 gigs, uh, the WWE game I got, I, I, exactly what I thought would happen with that, and I wanted to do gameplay, but I just ended up not doing it. I, I love the GM mode for a bit, and then I'm like, I'm done, I'm bored. I played some of the actual game, but I, I just can't get into it. So I deleted that. Um, it's just fun. The combat is fun. Just like it was. Did I do any other mini game type stuff? I'm not sure. But the game world looks freaking amazing, too. Like, just coming out to lush green. It's, it's been, you know, incredible. Um, and it was cool to do that. I would assume that happened in the original game, too, where you see, like, how Sephiroth just kills nuts or whatever. He's not as good as a bad guy as Kefka in Final Fantasy 3, 6. Because that dude was just straight up evil. Like, it was just like... <laughs> I would love to see them just do that. That would be insane to get that in, like, this style of remake. would be just... But it's been it's been super fun. Like it was two discs, obviously. Oh, it came with a a controller skin, versatile art as well, artwork. Um, but it's been fun. The only other thing it has are special abilities. I I right now I'm using Barrett Red Thirteen and Cloud, but I was I was I mix it up, um, and they'll all level up together. The other people that aren't in your party fighting at the time to level up as well when you're not using them which is nice um, just everything looks good too like when you do a mission this is very colorful and bright the HUD and, and when you do a mission mission complete or something comes up it looks really nice um, and sometimes in the fight like numbers are coming up just colors and things are just exploding you do like a special move and everything blah, blah, blah. I can stagger it shit's going on it's fun, fast-paced combat. It really is an awesome game. Like, absolutely, just pick it up. Um, you know, oddly enough, if you don't care about the story and you didn't play the first part, because this differs so... And obviously, when the original came out, for people playing, it was probably like, oh, I'm in Midgard for a while, and all of a sudden you hit the open world, you're probably like, oh, shit, here we go, you know? Like, this one's just so much cooler because it has the open world, even though the remake part is, the first part is awesome as well. But this just, it really is awesome. I wanted to wait, and I was playing it all day. I'm like, I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to eight, nine hours into this game. And, uh, I don't know how many chapters there are. 
would assume it's maybe like 14, 15, 6, whatever. Maybe 17. I think there's 17 in the last one. But there's a ton to do. Like I said, I'm going to want to go back to the earlier areas and do all that stuff. Play more of that Queen's Blood. I think it's called Queen's Blood game. Do more side quests and stuff like that. And the side hustles you can go do as well. To generate gill. It's just, it's awesome, man. Absolutely pick it up. If you have any interest in getting it, just get it because it's going to be worth your $70 because you're going to put like 80, 90, 90 hours into it, I would think. So that's worth the money. Like I said, some of those character models are fucking ridiculous. I'm talking like the NPCs, like it's nuts how good some of them look. But I might be missing a few things, but it's just, like I said, the combat's great, it looks great. Voice acting solid. Um, and there's just a ton to do. Obviously, you're trying to find separate. The guys in the cloaks from the first one who were also like pumped with Mako and stuff, they're all out now and they're like slowly wandering and Cloud thinks they're going towards Sephiroth or whatever. Sephiroth did appear, spoilers here. After I fought the snake thing, I would assume that happened in, in the original too. He appears because the snake like grabs you and pulls you under and then he, Sephiroth appears and kind of kills it or whatever. But it's just, it, it's fun. It's super fun. And it looks great. And it's cool having that big open world to kind of... It looks like it's a pretty open, big open world too from what I've seen. Um, and there's a lot of fast travel points and it's quick. You fast travel back somewhere and it's like... Phew, almost, oh, it's not instant, but it's like half a second. Or a second, it's like boom. It might not even be a second. It's probably like half a second. It's, it's quick when you fast travel. And you can fast travel by foot. And there's parts too where you have to go back and climb. You're like doing some traversal where you're climbing up stuff. It's not, it's a little clunky, but it doesn't happen enough. And it's not a big part of the game. At least it isn't at the moment. Um, but it's just, it's just good fun. It makes me want to get the Crisis Core reunion. I know that's more of a prequel as well. I don't think Cloud's in that one. That was a PSP game originally. I want to say I had that game briefly on the PSP because it had an interesting combat system where it was, it was almost like roulette, not roulette, but slots, right? Was that that game originally? It was like slots in the combat. I forget. I did play some of it. I'm pretty sure it was PSP, right? Um, but I'm kind of like, I kind of want that now too, you know? Because I even played it originally when it came out. I didn't have PlayStation at the time. And I love Six. And I heard so many people talk about how incredible it was. But by the time I got around to playing it, actually at any point, it was so far. Realistically, it was probably like 10 years after it come out. Because I had downloaded it off the PlayStation Network on the PS3. Originally, that's when I first played it. I played like the two or three hours early on in the game. The first reactor that you plant the bombs or whatever and a little bit after that. And it was cool, but I just moved on to something else and... And the music's obviously great. <clears throat> it always is in Final Fantasy. Um, this is awesome. Like I said, it's going to take up a chunk of my time. Like, I'm probably not going to commit. I might pop in the uh, Midnight Suns game from time to time, but I'm not even sure if I will. I was talking to my friend, and I was like, I showed him a picture. I'm like, oh, I got it. And he's like, nice. He's like, I don't want to get it just yet because he just uh, he's playing Assassin's Creed Mirage, and he's like, if I jump into Final Fantasy, he's like, it's over. I'm not going to go back to Mirage. I was like, that makes sense. Um, but awesome fucking game. I'm going to probably end up doing a gameplay of this because it's cool. I think once I can fit, I would assume you can fast travel back because it says you're not. It says something like not, not that you're not capable. It's like, oh, it's not available at the moment. So I assume it's going to happen at some point. And when that does, whenever that is. 
I'll probably go back to like the grasslands or whatever and run around there and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's tons to do in this game. Awesome so far. I haven't had a ton of fun, but yeah. Just impressions of my early impressions. Nine hours in, eight, nine hours. I think it's like 8.40 I've played. Of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for the PS5. And uh, thanks for checking this out. Have a good day.